Hello children and welcome back. Our topic for today is air around us. In this lesson, we are going to learn about the features of the air. That is, air fills space, air has weight, air is needed for burning, air rises when heated, what is wind, what does air have, air pollution and airborne diseases. Children, we all know that air is very useful and all living beings need air to live and breathe. Without air, we cannot live. So I'm going to show you all a small activity on how you can feel air because we can feel air. Air has no smell and we cannot see air. So only we can feel air. Now can you see this fan? Okay, I'm just fanning. You all also can try it at home. You can take something and fan yourself. Can you all feel? Yes, you can feel the air. Now next is, all of you take your palm. Yes, and slow, so slowly blow into it. Can you all feel the air? Yes. So remember, we can only feel the air. We cannot see, we cannot taste. Nor does air have any color. You can just feel it. Children, can you see this balloon? Okay, I'm going to show you all a small experiment on how air fills space. I'm going to blow air into the balloon. Now, can you see this? What is inside? There is air. So, air fills space. Air takes the shape of any object which you blow in. Children, this is another experiment, the second one, to show that air has weight. Now, I have taken two balloons. One is without the air and one I have filled the air. Now, let's see. See, can you see the air, the balloon with the air is gone down. This shows that air has weight. Children, in the first experiment, we saw that air occupies space. Some things in which we can fill air are footballs, tires and swimming tubes. Children, can you see this hot air balloon going up? This is because the burner makes the air inside the balloon hot. The hot air becomes light and rises up. That is why the hot air balloon also moves up. When the burner is switched off, the air inside cools down slowly and the balloon comes down. This shows that air becomes light and rises when it is heated. Air is also needed for burning. Children, you can try this experiment at home. Cover a burning candle with a glass. It stops burning after some time. The air inside the glass helps the candle to burn for some time. Once the air gets used up, the candle stops burning. The candle needs a continuous supply of air to keep burning. This shows that air is needed for burning. Air can move. Air around us can move from one place to another. Moving air is called wind. When wind blows gently, it is called breeze. We like to sit in the open when a cool breeze blows. When the wind is strong and blows very fast, it is called storm. It has a lot of force and can blow away things around us. A powerful storm can damage trees, houses, crops and vehicles. Moving air or wind has many uses. Wind helps a sailboat 
to sail on water. Wind helps an aeroplane to fly. The blades of a windmill move with the help of wind. Windmills are used to grind grains and draw water from wells. A wind vane or weather vane tells us the direction of the wind. What does air have? Air has gases. Air contains several gases. One of them is oxygen. All living things need oxygen to breathe. Air has dust particles. When we look at sunlight coming into your room from the window, we can see some small particles of dust in the air. Air has water vapor. When wet clothes are hung out in the sun, they dry after some time. What happens to the water in the clothes? Water changes to form a gas which cannot be seen. It is called water vapor. Now let's learn what is air pollution. Polluted air is harmful for all living things and can cause irritation to eyes, nose and throat. It also causes headaches, coughs, asthma and many such diseases. How can we reduce air pollution? We can reduce air pollution by planting trees around us and taking care of them as they help in keeping the air clean and fresh. We should not burn dry leaves or garbage around us and avoid bursting firecrackers. We should walk or use a cycle for short distances. Airborne diseases. There are many germs in the air that can cause diseases. The diseases that are caused by or spread through air are known as airborne diseases. They spread when a person having the diseases coughs or sneezes, giving out germs. Air carries the germs to a healthy person, making him or her also ill. Some such diseases are common cold, influenza, tuberculosis, chicken pox and swine flu. How to prevent airborne diseases? We can stay safe from airborne diseases by following some simple steps. Avoid being near a person who is sick. Cover your mouth with a handkerchief while coughing or sneezing. Wash your hands with soap before and after eating. We must wear masks to avoid breathing in germs or spreading them. Vaccine also help to prevent airborne diseases. We should always keep our food covered and never eat uncovered food. Children, I'm sure you all understood about the air, why it is used and the different features of the air. So stay safe, keep learning.